All right, so this is the final, I believe, getting started with my MATLAB tutorial. And in this one, I want to show you what some of these features over here on the right do. So in the last one, I showed you the left-hand palette. This is the right-hand palette. All right, so let's say I'm looking at this problem, and I think, oh, I don't know how to do this. I'm not sure. Well, there are all these helps over here to help you figure it out. The top one, the little key symbol, if you click on that, it takes you to help you solve this. Right? Help me solve this guides you step by step through the problem. So you can click continue. You can see there are six parts remaining to it. Click continue. So it's asking you what's the least common denominator for this one. Let's see, 9, 6, hmm, maybe 18. Enter. Yay, I got that right. And now it gets you to the next part. All right, and you can click continue and the next part. And it'll continue to ask you questions. Let me close this. Okay. And then it'll change the problem, right? So if you use Help Me Solve This, it changes the problem, so then you have to do it again. Or you could click on View an Example. This doesn't have any interactive portion to it. You just click Continue, Continue. It's very similar to Help Me Solve This, but it has everything filled out for you. Some students like the Help Me Solve This better, some students like the Example better. You know, you have to figure out what works best for you. Let me close that. Um, there's the textbook. If you click on this, it'll open up the textbook to the page where this came from. So section 1.2. It's opening up. There we go. It takes you to that section and you can roam through here and try to find a similar problem in, in the examples to figure out what's going on. Let me go back. There's the video. So if you click on this, you might have to install a QuickTime player or something on your computer, um, which I don't believe I have installed, so I'm not going to click on it. But if you click on that, you can get a video to, to show you what's going on, a person lecturing about this type of problem. You can click on Ask My Instructor, if your instructor has it enabled, which I do. So that'll go over here and you can email your instructor a question say like I'm not sure how to find the LCD for example don't just say I don't get this because obviously you don't get it but you, it helps if you can try to articulate what it is you're not understanding and that helps the instructor help you figure out what's going on Let me go back to do homework and then you can print the page so if you click print it'll ask you and let me show you that for a second there it goes, opening up again. So let me go up here. Now it asks you a question. Do you just want to print this question? Let's say you have a problem with just this problem and you want to print it and bring it into your instructor and talk to them about it. You can also print the entire homework assignment. Now that's particularly handy for people who don't have a lot of access to computers. You can click this and click print and then what you can do is it'll print up all of these problems. You can work them all by hand and then you can just go back in and type your answers. And if there's a couple you don't have right, well then you can just redo those couple rather than having to spend all the time on the computer in the first place. So that's a handy feature, especially if you don't have a lot of access to computers. So let me go back to Course Compass. Oops, let me go back to Do Homework. I'm going to click Save and it'll save I had two questions right, two questions wrong, and I hadn't attempted the rest of them. OK. So it'll show you, see, I've got 20% on that section. Now if you want, you can also click Quizzes and Tests. Let me just show you what those look like. Say, yep, I'm ready to start. Now in this particular course, these tests aren't worth anything. I just leave them up there for students to practice with say if they want to study from them before an exam. And you can see you still have the palette over here because you still have to enter questions like that. right? But over here all the help is gone because in a test you're not going to get any help. You can see that there are 20 questions, 0 of 20 complete. I can only see 10 at this point. If I want to see the next ones I can click the double arrow and it'll take me to the next group. There's 11 through 20 right there. And see now the arrow doesn't exist because there aren't any past 20. Great, so that's that. That's how both the homework, the tests, and the study plan all work. And to get to the tests, again, I just did that in the homework menu. I clicked on Do Homework, and up at the top, it said Tests. That's it. I hope you enjoy my math lab.